here we have a DCH273 DeWalt hammer draw 3 function. This was not right. See? No rotation in this mode. Or little or no rotation in that mode anyway. It doesn't seem too bad. But this is the real killer. Why would it rotation in that mode when that's not supposed to be rotation? That's supposed to be chisel. So I have no idea what's wrong with this, but I'm going to have to pull it open. I know the motor's alright because it's rotating. So I'm going to have to pull it open. And what you need to open this is a T20 <coughs> Torx screwdriver. Probably one of these wee small screwdrivers. And I can do attitude. So first thing is to pull off the chuck and get the battery first. Chuck should come off fairly handy. Could do with a wee bit more oil that chuck, to be honest. It's very dry. And before I put it back together, I'll probably oil that chuck. <clears throat> so that's that open. Screws. That's all the screws out from this side now. And there's a sticker there. You'll have to take off if you get anything to move. Interesting the way they're writing underneath that sticker. It's a bit weird. Don't know what that says. Somebody's been here before, which is never a good thing. Somebody's been messing with this. And they shouldn't have been messing with this. You see, they fixed it. Or left it for me to try and fix. One or the other, isn't it? That's the side off anyway. <coughs> Move that over here. Right. I know she's not seizing, she was moving, so there's something moving in the the motor's going. The motor's okay. I'm going to need to get screw, two screws out now. Just a little bit disturbing that somebody's been in here. Maybe somebody's had a go at trying to fix this and that's one way the, the functions are all weird on her. I'm going to have a go at it, see how you get on. Should be stuck in the cat. Stuff it's glued on. 
No way. Whatever. Here we are now. <clears throat> More screws. Just two more screws to dig out, just these two. Here, they're much the same as the rest of them, but I think they're a little bit longer. You can see the difference there. So, that's the screws all out of that. There's a little bit comes off there, a little plastic bit comes off the back of the housing. And, let's see. This bottom part of the house and then the 273 lifts off on its own, I think, that you can get access to the motor. Hello. I missed the screw. Here we are. I'm off a wee bit hand there now. Move all the screws out. Got a top half burst. Never had one of these two seven threes open before, so I'm sure that facing what I know about the two five three, which is very very similar to the old brushed model. We'll see. Yep. Hmm. Have to fight with that little rebound. We'll see. <coughs> it's going to open now. Does not feel good at all. Right. I think we'll pull this out here. Pull the motor right to the sea. Um, if you can see that, there's no resistance there at all. Basically, that piston's going out. There's no pressure there at all. So I would say, in my very amateur opinion, I'd say these are all right. These are probably all right here. But I'd say I need to do up the inside of it, do the, pull out the piston and the bumper and all, and re-grease it and put on the, put on the rings and all. I would say that's the problem. There's no resistance at all there. There should be some resistance in the piston. So that's what's wrong that. I'm going to have to order some parts before I put that together. But that's, that's how you tear down a DCH273 that's got a bad hammer on it. <clears throat> 